Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. But for now, let's get into the video. Ladies, pro tip, if you're moving in by yourself and you're ordering a lot of furniture and you're not sure if you can lift it up the stairs, one thing I like to do and make sure that you're home for this is when the delivery driver arrives, I always ask, is it heavy? And nine out of 10 times it usually works because they want to see Manly in front of you and they'll just carry it up the stairs for you, no questions asked. Okay, see my delivery driver, I'm gonna try it out now. Hi, is it heavy? Uh, a little bit. Okay, <laughs> this one's really heavy. Do you think you could help me bring this one up? Yeah, Thank you. I don't know about you, but I love how proud she is of herself for saying basically nothing. That wasn't him trying to be manly in front of you. That was him having common sense. He didn't offer to help to seem manly in front of you. He offered to help because you asked him to. He didn't do it because it's you either. He is the type of guy who will most likely do that for everyone asking for help. You don't realize this because you're not in contact with this person, but the more they go out, the more they realize how rare you are. The more people they talk to, the bigger regret they have over losing you. You. Their social life is just reinstating the fact, or should I say fear, you really are that unique and different. So let them go out because it's only highlighting how amazing you are. Or there are a few chances, well, most likely all the chances that he just opened a bottle of champagne to celebrate that he got you out of his life. Or if he's like me, shaking hands with his best friend, Mr. Jack Daniels. I know there are some of you that are absolutely amazing out there, but, and this is probably gonna be hard to hear, but some of you are not as amazing as you might think. The problem with this type of message is that when you tell everyone that they're simply amazing for existing, it gives them an excuse to not look at themselves and see the issues they need to fix. I think I might be the red flag and I didn't even know this. Multiple sources now have confirmed this and I need men to comment because you always comment with unsolicited advice. I want your advice on this. I've been doing beauty for 15 years, right? <clears throat> Running clinic, been killing it. Love it for me. Now, when I tell men what I do for work, multiple sources have been like, mm, that's a red flag. What? We all know I'm like unhinged and a bit, you know, in here. But I didn't know that comes hand in hand with being in the beauty industry. Apparently, what I do is a red flag. How did I not know this about myself? Maybe I'm the problem. I think I might tell people that I'm an accountant now because it's deemed as boring. And like, maybe I need to do that. Like what? Asking for a friend, obviously. No, I thought it was a good industry to be in because it shows that we will always take care of our appearances and always look good. Mind blown. It really is. Oh, is it? If I were you, I would be worrying less about being in the beauty industry and more or less about bragging online that you're unhinged and a bit whatever you were about to say. I also believe that being a single mother bragging about the fact that you're unhinged doesn't really help your case either. Have you heard that the men are big mad at an airline because the airline is allowing women to choose not to sit next to men? <laughs> and now they're upset because women have that choice. I find it ironic because so many of these men wouldn't be mad if the woman's husband was allowed to choose to put her in a women's only section. He would rationalize it and he would say, of course, of course he doesn't want her to sit with other men. That's his woman. He wants her to not be around other men. They would be fine with that, but it's because the woman has the choice, they're big mad about it. No, they're not. I haven't heard about the story, but I did have to look into it. And that's how I found out that there's no one mad about it. The only, sure, we'll call it a mad comment that I found was this. I have no problem with this policy if men are allowed to do this as well. This policy, as it stands, would be unconstitutional in the USA as it violates the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution, 14th Amendment. That's the mad comment. Not to mention that, we'll call it that, you just forgot to mention that that's an Indian airline. I'm still not sure what's that got to do with you? Oh, because you needed a lie to blame something on men. Being a low-cost airline, I wonder if they're gonna start charging more when you choose to sit next to a woman. Does anyone else feel extremely alone right now? It's like, the more I figure out about myself and I heal, the more it's hard for me to emotionally connect to the people around me. And I know they say that you shed the people that you outgrow, but it's becoming very lonely and I don't know how to get out of this stage. I don't know how to find people. I just want to have conversations with people that aren't surface level. 
Where do I find my community that wants to work on themselves and wants to do things? Bumble BFF, that's what all of you lonely, you know, I mean, healed people are. And no, you're not healed, you just think you're better than everyone else. Oh, I don't want to have surface level conversation. That's great. Tell me about the Mariana Trench then. Being healed from last year trauma because you hurt your pinkies on the side of the bed, it doesn't make you lonely. It makes you more pleasant to the people around you and it will make you be surrounded by friends. I'm not really sure what you call healed, but I'm absolutely sure that's not it. Men have video games and sports. What do women have? Men have all these like little activities that they get to do and i'm like what do we do this is gonna sound crazy but you can do the same things you can play games and play sports too i swear to god they should make podcast equipment cost more because this is this is crazy omg men have all these hobbies well if you stop complaining maybe you'll have time to get one yourself you might even have time for two that's pretty wild isn't it i move on fast baby <laughs> I ain't finna be sad about you. Honey, <laughs> you'll never move on. You'll be so obsessed you won't be able to eat, sleep, or do anything without thinking of me 24-7. Yeah, you better listen to her because you, uh, no, she knows what she's talking about because she is uh, not crazy. She is, get this, a witch, because of course she is. And she's not even your average witch. She knows spells this one because uh, of course she does. Let me prove it to you. All right, what's the fastest I've seen a spell work? All right, the fastest spells are definitely the obsession spell and the aphrodisiac, okay? The aphrodisiac literally always works that same night, especially if you're already with your partner, right? And you want to bring a little magic into the relationship. Um, when you're not with your partner, I've seen it work in as little as anywhere from 10 minutes to three days, okay? The obsession that spell literally works like a charm that spell works the fastest the fastest i've seen it work is literally well the client didn't message me until like five minutes after okay and that was on the new moon <laughs> well see she's not cuckoo she's uh it was because of the new moon i know 99 percent of my viewers are men well maybe 96 percent so i'm gonna talk to the five or six ladies watching my videos you do not need to listen to these lunatics and even more you do not need to pay and buy their courses how the spell worked because i slept with my husband to sleep with your husband all you have to do is take your clothes off in front of him and he'll be on top of you before you can even say i only wanted to take a shower being married to an older man is all fun and games until we're in the middle of an argument and he says some shit like what's good for the goose is not always good for the gander and then the argument's instantly over because i'm just left sitting there like it means stop arguing, you're gonna lose that time. You'll come back 10 years later with whatever he said, and you're gonna have another argument. But since I spoke to my lady viewers earlier, I'm gonna, well, this time I'm gonna talk to my male viewers. And for the first time, I'm gonna give you guys the best advice you can hear. And keep in mind, I never give advice to anyone because I don't like to take one. But this time, it goes pretty much like this. If you ever find yourself in an argument with your woman, you start to slowly take your clothes off, and even before you get to your underwear, she'll get a headache and she'll go to sleep. I promise you, if you time that right 10 minutes before the game you'll have the next two hours in peace of course by that time she's gonna sense you're having fun and she'll come back to you about something you said in 2014 on a tuesday on august 13 at 249 my point is don't ever listen to me but i'm an idiot so i went to a singles event and when i got there it was literally 90 percent women and i was like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. Well, there you go. Like I kept saying when this showed up, men don't go to singles event. He's just the average guy who swiped left on him on a dating app because he was just the average man. So why would he go to a singles event when he's the average man and you're there looking for Prince Charming? Customer states, rear tire is loose. Yep. <laughs> what the? She drove here! Okay, and I am done for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.